and your commentator is Mihola Marihertig. Mayo leading one point to no score as we join them. Mayo on the green and red, Tyrone in the white and red, Tyrone attacking inside Mayo's 50 yard line. Centre forward, Kieran Lochran. There's the full forward, Brendan Sherry. Trying to get the equaliser. This is the midfielder, Barry McGinn. It might come from here. There it is, the equaliser, a point apiece. And there's Barry McGinn, the midfielder. Kick out for Mayo's goalkeeper, Tom Ivers. Pulled on there by Brian Gormley. Mayo goalkeeper leaving it to the right half back, Michael Dorkin. Lost there to Brendan Sherry. Trying to get into the square. Plenty of backs around to tidy up for Mayo. And the usual tactic of hand passing the ball out of defence. Centre free, centre half back and the Tyrone team, Paul Donnelly. Corner back away up the field, that's Eamon McCaffrey leaving the ball out to the number 10, Brian Gormley. It's taken away from him. Number 17 on the Mayo team, he's Tony Langan, but referee Joe Woods penalising him for overholding there. Joe Woods, a Dublin referee. Mayo Tyrone forward very near the square, but this is Peter Canavan kicking. Peter Canavan sends it over the bar. That's a Tyrone point. Peter Canavan, left half forward. Hill 16 deserted, except for those four Gordy, as the linesman or AD McNamee takes a line ball for Tyrone. Tyrone moving well now. Peter Canavan again. Peter Canavan across, but the ball dropped and untidy defence play there and bad forward play by Tyrone, not able to get in to get a score there as the corner forward, Donald McMahon is brought down. Joe Woods busy there taking a name as the crowd bask in the sunshine of this final, the vocational school's final, Tony Langan of Mayo, trying to get the ball down, lots of play by Tyrone in this game so far, this is Emblen McGale. Midfielder there, Adrian Donnelly. Tyrone doing a lot of pressing. Look the better team, the ball to Brendan Sherry. Right across, and Mayo goalkeeper is there to get the ball to his cornerback. He was Francis Bryan. A.D. McNamee, steady half back. Off the crossbar. Mayo in a bit of luck there as the ball breaks to Brian Gormley. And Brian Gormley makes poor use of it, a wide for Tyrone. Mayo centre forward, TJ Monaghan. Looks a little bit like a great Mayo player of the past, Willie McGee, but this is a, a chance for Mayo now to get a score. They'll be down in the Tyrone territory. Jerry McNicholas, the captain. Kicking towards the canal goal. Well held inside by the Tyrone full back, Tony McGinn. Line ball for Mayo, we're on the Hogan stand side of the ground. That's the 21 yard line to the right. Noel Callahan. Off the upright, chance here for Mayo, the ball smothered and cleared off by one of the forwards, actually Brian Gormley, that got that ball away. The chance was there for Mayo, the centre forward, TJ McNamee, blasting, but lots of bodies in around the goal. A bit of crowding around the centre of the field, the Mayo centre back, John Flannery. Mayo doing a bit of pressing there, but TJ Monaghan again. Steady to their own defence, the high ball right across. Held inside. Good smothering tactics there as the ball comes out to the Noel Callahan and Noel Callahan kicks it over the bar and Mayo point. Noel Callahan there the scorer, the right half forward on the Mayo team. Referee Joe Wood sounding the half time whistle. Good crowd gathering into Croke Park. 
Because the league final comes after between Dublin and Meath. The kick away down towards the square, blocked again by the full back and cleared out towards the 50 yard line, not a long clearance. 13 is Seamus Quinn. Moves nicely with the ball. Seamus Quinn getting it inside the 50 yard line. The broken ball to the wing forward, Peter Canavan moving well on the 14 yard line. The blast, that's a goal for Tyrone. Peter Canavan, the scorer. Good move, Peter in the proper position to receive the ball and then racing clear of all bats. And then that's a good left footed kick from Peter. Deflected maybe by Tom Ivers, but it finished up in the back of the net. In towards the goal again, plenty of white shots in there. They're pulling on it a chance for Mayo here. The ball, it's gone in. The umpire giving you a very, very clear signal there that that ball had crossed the line. The umpire has signalled. We may see it again. It was Tom Gibbons got the boot to the ball. Joe Woods going in now to consult with the umpires. Going right across the goal umpire on this side. He's holding the flag. And then a word from the other umpire. What will Joe Woods do next? Yes, he's pointing to the 21-yard line, which means a kick out. There it is again. Should have been cleared by the Tyrone backs, the first attempt. The full forward, Tom Gibbons, is there. Watch the umpire moving in from the left. There's the umpire giving the signal that that ball had come off the upright but went behind the line. Mayo back in the game, they're moving again. Mayo outside their own 50-yard line, getting the ball well down inside the second 50-yard line. They're coming again with the Jerry McNicholas. Taken away from him, Tyrone good at backing each other up. The man always there to take the ball, and this is Brendan Sherry, the full forward. Moving down to get the retort, and still Brendan Sherry, he's inside the 50-yard line. Trying the long ball to the left and out over the line and wide. And there's Joe Woods, the referee, signalling that the game is over. And Tyrone, they've won the vocational school, the All-Ireland final. 1-9 for Tyrone, 1-4 for Mayo. Well, let's hope the